and welcome back to my channel. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Today I wanted to show you how I created a Would You Rather using Google Forms and how I plan to use it for distance learning, remote learning. We're going to this hybrid model. So this is what I've created, a Would You Rather, and I've included all of my questions. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go into a Google form. I start with a blank form. And for me personally, in my classroom, I like to ask them their first name, another question for their last name, and then another question for what period they are in. So I would go ahead and enter those as my questions. So now that I've got the basics taken care of, I need to get my questions. So I just typed in, would you rather for teens because I teach high school and here I have it. Would you rather be invisible or have the ability to fly? So let's go ahead and use that one. So would you rather have the power to be invisible? And I'm going to add an image. I'm going to just do a quick Google search, something that will represent that. Here we go insert. So it gives them a little representation of what I'm talking about. Here we have it. And for this one, I want to go ahead and use my Bitmoji because I know there's a nice little one flying with the bird. I save an image as and it'll save into my downloads. Some people just drag and drop it. It never works for me. I don't know why, but that's okay. So browse my computer, it goes in my downloads, and there it is. Question one, done. And then I'm going to keep on going and I'm going to add my other questions. So the next one, would you rather eat vanilla ice cream? And I just go over here, add an image, Google search. And I wanted both of my images to look pretty similar. So they have this cartoon one. And I believe I can get a chocolate cartoon one. So let's do that. There we go. So question number two is done. Let's add another question. You're going to keep on going, keep on building this. The next question I found on that other website is, would you rather talk to the animals or know other people's thoughts? So you're going to continue building this. Once you have all your questions, it will look like this. I did create a custom banner. If you do Canva or you do it in Google Slides, 1600 by 400 pixels. And you just go right here to the little paint palette and you can actually upload an image. That's how I did that. So here I have my completed Would You Rather. And I'm going to just complete it really quickly a few times so that we can get some data and I want to show you how you view the data. Okay, my plan is to present this to the students while we're in a Google Meet, Zoom, WebEx, however it is, and I would just share the link, send, share them the link, and I would just copy that and paste that into the chat box. As the students open it up, I can go through and I'll be presenting the questions one at a time to them, but they can go, of course, go ahead. Once they're done responding, then I go here and then we can have a discussion as a group and I can ask them to share out. So the first one here is, would you rather have the power to be invisible or have the power to fly? Notice it's one third is the power to fly. Two thirds we have invisible and you can discuss that with your students. You can continue through and discuss all the data that you have found and they can find what they have in common with their peers. They can all share out. I would suggest calling on students and you'll have all their names because they put in their names. You know who answered what question and notice here we can say, hey, everybody had the same idea. Everybody wanted to be rich, not have lots of friends. Same here. No one wanted to eat a whole onion and we can have a little discussion about that. This is what I plan 
to do for my first day of school, to get to know my students, to build community, to start feeling like we belong together where we're not in the classroom, I know, but I think this is one way that we can do this. Hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you've created. Step out and be uniquely wonderful you and have a great day.